Hi, I'm Dave Cross. In this quick Photoshop video, I want to explore how to paste onto a layer mask and why this can be a really useful technique. This is another question I get asked quite often is for people who are exploring things and they maybe read a technique that says, well, paste this texture onto a layer mask or paste something onto a layer mask and when they try, they're unable to. And the reason is when you normally just paste in Photoshop, it's gonna make a new layer regardless of whether you have a layer mask select or not. So there's one quick little trick to help you do it. So here is the image that I wanna work with. I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the add layer mask button. And even though my layer mask is actively selected, that still is not gonna solve my problem. So here's the image I wanna use. I'm gonna select all and copy, just using the keyboard shortcuts for that. And when I come back here again, even though my mask is active, if I use the paste shortcut, it just pastes it as a new layer. So somehow we have to tell Photoshop, no, I'd like you to paste it onto the layer mask. And the way we do that is you have to actually view the contents of the layer mask. And we do that by holding down Option on the Macintosh or Alt for Windows when you click on the layer mask thumbnail. So I hold down, in my case, Option, Windows would be Alt, click once, and now I'm viewing the actual layer mask. Now I can paste the contents onto the mask and I can deselect. You can see there's my layer, there's the layer mask. Now to get back to regular view, I can either Option or Alt click again, or I could just click on the layer thumbnail itself. Now, this still works like a regular layer mask, so it means we have this kind of weird look going on. So let's add a new layer below. So now we can see better. And at this point, I might wanna try some things. I, I wanna invert the mask. Command or Control I will invert it. That really doesn't do a whole lot in this case. Maybe what I wanna do is apply levels to it so I can darken or lighten it. Because remember, a layer mask is all down to shades of gray, so the darker it is, the more it masks, and the lighter it is, the less it masks. So maybe I'll push it way over here, and now I'm still seeing my photograph, but I've got this really interesting texture happening. So of course, depending on what you paste on the layer mask, is gonna give you a very different result. But the key that I want to show you is, this opens up some really interesting possibilities creatively if you find some interesting texture or even another photograph and paste on the layer mask. Just remember, hold down that option or alt key before you click on the layer mask button so you're viewing the layer mask, then you can paste onto it. Please keep a lookout for my next quick little Photoshop tutorial. I'll see you next time.